Oh yes. Oh, and then we went and watched that play, like, the the film. Was it? Yeah. No, the actual play in Melbourne. Oh right. Um, now, Shelley, you said areas of concern. Why do you have to? Why, why is that something you're, you're thinking about? Because you want to pick a book that isn't too challenging, but is what well, isn't too hard, but it's going to challenge them a little bit on their merit. Very good. <laughs> So that's one thing that we talked about, that if you're choosing a book for a reader, you don't want something that is so easy that it's there's no point. But you don't want something that's so challenging that it's going to turn them off. You need something that's got a little bit of a challenge in it um, and that, that, that fits their abilities as a reader. All right, what else do you have to consider? What are the other things we've talked about when you're helping students make wise choices for reading material or you're choosing reading material for them? Their interests. Okay, so we're trying to match their interests. And that's why on those cards, depending on how schools keep their records, they record things like that. Because if you're trying to get kids switched on to reading, <coughs> you don't pick things that they're not going to be remotely interested in. You've got to start with an interest based and yeah, then encourage them to go from there. If I'm not interested in a book, I won't. That's yeah, right. I won't read it. Read it. So knowing because what they're interested in helps yeah. to a degree. Okay. Now, what other things have we talked about with text selection? The name of it. Yeah, okay. So what do we talk about there, Emily? And the, and the cover of it as well. Okay. The name of the cover of it. Like how it looks. Yeah, so it looks like it will be a good book for Melbourne. Yeah, it's good. All right, so how do we know it's likely to be a good book by just looking at the cover? Remember, there's that saying.